Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamey Daddy channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So I have two tips for people who are returning to the game or people who are new or depending on kind of when you started this journey with the division and you stopped and, you know, some somehow you just found yourself back in the game and you're trying to get things off the ground. And, you know, you probably didn't really invest much time in learning kind of the systems within the game. So these two items uh, or these two tips, in my opinion, I think are going to be very helpful for you and nothing really special. In fact, if anything, I think, um, you know, all they are just basically simple quality of life, uh, you know, functionalities that the game has or I would say areas that you can explore in the game that will really help you your game overall. So the very first one is being able to accomplish or do missions uh, of any difficulty or, you know, even side missions or even open world activities by using the call for help functionality. Now, I've seen, uh, you know, a lot of agents pretty much say, you know, I'm a solo player or I can't find help to get these things done. And, you know, sometimes it seems like your only bet is to go on like, you know, Discord and a lot of the other uh, channels. But honestly, you can actually use the call for help functionality. It's actually here when you go to your map. You can navigate on the top uh, menus here using L1 or R1. If you're on a keyboard, I think it's E and Q. And you can go under SHD. And on the bottom of the screen, you're going to see different options. One of them allows for you to be able to open your on-call status, uh, basically allow for, you know, people for yourself to be able to hear agents call for help. And you can actually leave that on all or if you want it to be only from your friends and clans. And then you can also call for backup using, in this case, triangle. And this will send out a call to the map to agents who have also activated this functionality and they can see your request and they can join you in whatever it is you're doing. So say you sit there and you're matchmaking for a mission and it's been like, you know, five minutes and you're like, wow, no one's actually matchmade with me. In fact, I wouldn't even wait for five minutes. If I start matchmaking, I, I usually jump in, except it's legendary and I start, you know, clawing my way through the mission. But if you've already, you know, kind of started matchmaking and no one is actually responding, all you got to do is just pretty much use the, uh, you know, the call for help functionality. And if anybody is in your, uh, you know, if people are around, somebody will take that on and actually come and help you. There's actually a shepherd ranking system that actually does go uh, with this functionality. So if somebody helps you, you can endorse them for uh, something. I don't think you, you have to endorse them anymore. Maybe you do, and they'll get a shepherd ranking. Some people want to get their shepherd rankings up, uh, so they'll be happy to come help you. And some people just want to help. That's what a lot of agents are actually doing right now in uh, in the game. They're not necessarily playing the game for any kind of progression that they wish to achieve. They're just playing the game just for the sake of playing it, just for the sake of enjoying the scenery, enjoying the familiarity. And, you know, it's the division. That's usually what a lot of players do. They just do repetition over and over again. So feel free to use this functionality. Don't be shy, you know, fire it up and, you know, get things going. The second tip that I wanted to give you is while you're running through the open world, look up. Now, this sounds crazy. You know, usually you're walking around the open world, you're enjoying the scenery. But if you will only just look up, you're going to see some of these around the open world. You're going to see parachutes that basically are carrying these uh, in quote cases or caches. I would call them care packages and they're actually different kinds. And these different care packages or cases, they do carry some resources within them. In the case of these gray ones, they actually do have, I think, in my opinion, they, they should they have resources for crafting or resources that you can use for donations. So here you notice that you have these materials over here that actually did come from this particular case. There are many of them around the open world. And so if you're running around and just basically exploring or whatever, take, you know, some time to just kind of have your agent, you know, basically looking at the horizon and you will find yourself in a position where, you know, you can pretty much get one of those. There's nothing crazy about, you know, just paying attention for that one small detail. It really can go a long way when it comes to basically getting, you know, stuff that your agent can use in the game in terms of donations and all of that stuff. Now, it sounds crazy, nonetheless, you know, that you have to just look up that way. Now, that was a gray chest, and I'm going to show you pretty much another kind, which is an orange one. And that one comes with, in many cases, a gear item or it comes with a mod mods basically for your gear in in uh, in base in the game pretty much so you can use these mods to augment your gear and actually make them much more powerful so one of the closest ones that i know how to navigate to if i'm actually going the right way 
is one here by the DCD uh, mission here. And once you make your way outside, I think I'm going the wrong way. I am. I'm absolutely going the wrong way. Yep. That's not the way to go. I think it's the other way. You know, once you're making your way through this mission and, you know, you want to go outside of the place, you're going to be able to run into a field. And in that field, you're going to be able to find one of these. Now, there is a detailed map video about all where these locations are in the map. And you can actually run the route if you really want to farm for mods. A lot of people don't necessarily use this uh, because honestly, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's the best way to find mods because sometimes the mods that come from these are quite mediocre. Perhaps if you're running uh, on heroic open world, you might be able to get better mods. Like if you look, I'm running on challenging. And so the mods that I'm getting are basically kind of crap. I mean, I'm getting purple stuff in challenging open world difficulty. It's a little weird for me because I don't really play, um, you know, on challenging open world difficulty, but I've started playing on that just more recently. So that's another thing that I'm trying to get used to. So just look up when you're running around the open world, it will definitely pay you. It will pay off. And, you know, the sim the sign that you can use is these parachute like items that are stuck in trees or stuck in buildings or structures. And, you know, you, if you don't want to run the route, or if you're not concerned about that, you know, you never know. You might find yourself a really good mod that can basically, you know, change up your build or give your build that one more uh, or three more percentage points that takes it to the next level. That's usually the division game. You know, 1% doesn't seem like a big deal until you start playing more and more of the game and you start looking for a way to get your gear maxed out. And that 1%, you know, starts to become a concern. And, you know, whatever you can do to gain that 1% overall is a big deal. So these are just two tips that I feel like players who have played the game, uh, you know, in the past or who are returning or even maybe some veterans may have just forgotten about and overlooked, uh, you know, can use. If you notice just now, just like I said, you know, someone's already calling for help. It says incoming call from agent. Lakers for live 0024. They're calling for help. If I want, I can go ahead and answer the call, but I want to make another video, which also has another tip. So I'm not going to answer that call. I want to make this video for you guys. Uh, and maybe when I'm online tomorrow, I'll probably be answering calls or maybe working with my clan, helping people in raids and all that stuff. But if you have any questions, if you are just coming back or if you're new to the game, feel free to throw them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer if I see your, your question or other veterans might be helpful and just, you know, jump in and help clear some of your doubts or, you know, help with your concerns. So thank you very much for your time and audience. Hopefully we'll see in another one. Peace out.